everybody is by too cool so today we're on another epic adventure we're doing something uh, real fun um, I want to tell you guys I'm rolling solo today no director no screenwriter no producer reason me you know she's a makeup artist you guys can go follow her on Instagram bunny MUA for all your makeup work artistry scary look whatever you need she have the service available so we're gonna dedicate today's show to our screenwriter director slash everything else bunny MUA check the page out so we're doing something very um, epic and adventurous today um, I'm gonna let my friend here my guide my driver my assistant get into details and tell us what we are doing Kevin Singh what's up my brother what are we doing today we're going to St. Combat's mission to play a cricket match against the team and then you'll enjoy the drive on the way because so it's gonna be adventure yes so tell me something do we need to get off road to get to St. Colbert yes. mission yes beautiful my friend you have like four or five minutes to meet to St. Colbert's mission that's just off the highway just off the highway guys check out our ride for today so as you can see our ride we got all terrain tires this is the vehicle that we're gonna be using our is this vehicle equipped with a wrench do we have a wrench oh we don't have a winch so let's check the tire guys because we're going off-road so this is our ride for today this is our vehicle to St. Colesburg mission just take a grand tour around So I'm hoping that we have fun today guys so put up join us for the adventure let's go yes guys we are now on our epic uh, adventure we already left for the trail my my driver guide uh, everything is, is here he's taking me so we are almost to St. Callsboard mission so uh, I think this is what the script name uh, I'm huh? what is it Umbrella Creek. Umbrella Creek we are at Umbrella Creek here Somewhere wrong here is the turn off. Mm -hmm. No, this is Kuru, Kuru Primary School. This is next. Oh, Kuru, Kuru Primary School in there. It's a Haruni Creek here, by. We are top of a hill, so you see we going down in the gorge now, and then we got to go up up on top of another hill. Beautiful man, this is so beautiful. Yes, guy, we're making our approach to St. Colesburg Mission. So this is the sign you want to um, look for, and then we make the turn off. So according to my guide, it's like how much um minutes off-road Gavin? About four to five minutes. And and on not so reliable source, we're behind where we left on the to come on the highway. But we're behind where? Somewhere you said earlier? We're heading towards um, Mahaika side. So it's basically we might reach back to Mahaika Maikoni area, but we came up to the highway, right guys? So we're gonna we're gonna go off-road and you're gonna join us for the off-road adventure now. Our off-road adventure begins. This seems like a lot of fun. Gavin, how are your Sunday going so far? Very nice. I Do you want that. to say a special good morning to anybody? Yes, I'd like to say a special good morning to Leanne and her family from Long Island. Leanne and, and family from Long Island, take a big up, guys. The trail is so beautiful, man. I recommend it if anybody coming to Guyana or Guyanese living in Guyana to come check it out sometime, yeah? Adventure. Just a quick reminder guys, the off-road segment that you're, you're witnessing here right now is compliments at James Singh Fabrication and Welding Shop guys, alright? For all your bumper needs, what else you guys do there Gavin? Roof rack, roller bars, roller bar, um, roller cage, 
everything. Everything, everything you think about to off road. Off road, um, what you call it? Off road fabrication. Yes, we do James the full suspension for your vehicles too. Uh, what, what's the number they could get you on, Gavin? The number is 233-2414. There you have it, guys. 233 414. On our way in, this is another um, eye, eye, very eye place into the eye area. I would say in a, a nice little settlement here, <laughs> a little shop. Place for come and swim. Yeah, beautiful man. I like this kind of thing. Look, they got the little Amerindian skirt there on the fence. We still off road guys, and we're gonna be off road all day actually. These guys and the kayak, beautiful. Welcome to yep, welcome to Sim Colbert's mission, guys. So this is what ground, Gavin. This is just a lime ground. Yeah, this is just a place. Oh. A community ground, like you know, a play field. In here, look real beautiful. Real easy going, quiet tranquility, you know. It's coming out. I think we should get these snacks. You see any kids? Yeah, look, they walk in the room. Uh, I don't know yet. That's the way you got it. Got some candies for the kids on the road. So, Gavin came up with this great idea. Let's bring a pack of candy to share out to kids if you see kids in the area. So, we saw some kids, so we gotta try to get them quickly. Come, 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 come get candy. Come quickly. Come for some candy. Here we go. Thanks. Come carry some for the baby too. Wait. Yeah. Is it and when they come? So we give randomly giving away candy. So any kids we see in the area, Gavin brought up a whole bag of candy there. <laughs> it's from his end. That had nothing to do with me. That was his gesture and his idea. Yeah, they have a big school. St. Colbert's Mission also have a school. I'm not sure if it's primary level or secondary level. So they have everything here. They have a police outpost. Secondary. secondary school. They have a secondary school also. Kids, kids. Hey guys, come get some candies. Come quickly. Come, come. come for candy. What do you have to say? Thank you. Come, come. Come, come, son. Come push up hand. Push up hand. Here we go. You know your two times table? You know your two times table? Mm -hmm. <laughs> two ones. Two ones. Two. two. Thank you. So now. This is the this is the St. Colbert's place. Oh, this this over there's got the activities? Yes. Hey kids, yeah. hey, 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 come for candy, come for candy guys. Yeah, come for candy quickly. Come, come, come. Come quick, come quick, candy, candy. I have more, I have more guys. Wait, wait. Here you go. One more, one more set for somebody else. Share out. Come, come, y'all. Share out who y'all can give. Share it around, right, guys? Yeah. Have a good day. Here you go. Take care. Bye. But wait, wait. One more, one more. Look, look. There's another angel here. Here you go, baby. Take, take. Have a good day, guys. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This is the health center thing. Oh, St. Colbert Health yeah. Center. And this is the Benab. Yeah, this is a beautiful Benab, guys. An Amerindian, um, Amerindian basically uh, build this and construct these. These are their, um, what you would call their homes, I would say, back in the days. Oh, and that's a weed man, guys. We don't really see people like this on, in our, our roadway and things like that. You know? That's a weed man. <laughs> So we entering another uh, part. It's called Pakuri. We are going to check out this other village in the area. So we came a bit further in from um, the area that we were originally uh, headed to, and I'm going to show you a nice little peek of our area that people come back in and they come and bathe and they come and do boating. 
but right now the water is very high usually you could have drive at the bottom there right through the bottom you could have drive so the water is really really high have you want to go bed? yeah <laughs> I don't think there's a jump. So you can rent them Ben up and start the bag there, right? Yeah. Come and rent. Back here you could rent. And come and stay at night. You could do your fishing. Oh, you can, you can camp here, right? Yeah, you could camp out. Oh, you can come do camping here you too. tie a hammock in there and sleep. Yeah, so like 15, 16 people can tie a hammock in there and sleep and so and on. Oh, yeah, yeah look, yeah. there's a, a farmhouse kind of thing there, a loji, right? Yeah. So you can rent that. Yeah. Can rent that so a whole family can rent that and come here and camp out cook and have a good time guys so there you have it and right here you're bathing yeah you bathe you brush your teeth you shit you wash your butt right in this water here everything done right here one place one time <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it guys so that's an additional bonus for you guys so we're heading back to the um cricket ground remember we're here if you just joined us we're here for a cricket match also hopefully we get some suki and also some food. We must get food from somebody up here. So Gavin have some other information to share with us. Go ahead, Gavin. So if you use this well, this river here and go down to the back, mm -hmm. you might catch Lukanani and Haimara. So people do that up here for a living, yes, like catch fish for sale. Yes. I would love to tour this river or what is it? A creek someday and, and I would like it's to a see river. it's come from still Mahaiko. Oh, this is Mahaiko interconnecting. Yeah. yeah. Oh beautiful, beautiful. Someday we're gonna do it though when water low so we can catch actually catch fish, you understand? Some fish playing right now. So with adventure also come disaster, right? We are stuck in the mud, so we're gonna try to get out of this now. This one's spinning. No, no spin. I see which one's spinning. I see which one's. That was an epic out, buddy. I'm glad we're out and we can continue this mission. Gavin, tell me again. The Holland camera. Let me see your foot with mud. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. So, guys, when you come, please don't go in this area. <laughs> don't hurt Gavin and follow him. Just come another route. Gavin, how come you end up going to wash your foot, Hannah? Who driving the, in the south area? Me or you? Me, me. You. So, congratulations on what you're doing there. That's all, that's all in, in the front. So this is what we look like currently. Nothing is wrong. We, we can drive. Everything is fine. But our condition looks very beautiful. After that little hiccup there, we back out on, um, we, on the main road. We get a little thirsty. We, we, we suffering from a little dehydration. Go and order some beer, man. Can I have two bunks beer, please? Dehydration kicking in. So we need two bunks beer, right? Of course. Yeah, Ati beer rum. Beer rum, we bring no food. Wake up on the path. Tell everybody. Tell me where you go up on the path, the man. We got beef, Korean rice. Beef, Korean rice. There you have it, guys. Beef, Korean rice. Of course, you know you buy too cool to eat beef, but we got eat the bay rice. Gavin, cheers, by dehydration. Cheers. Uh, we had Gavin initiative of giving out candy, so he's gonna he's gonna give out some more. Gavin, look, they here. Look, go to uncle. Go to uncle by the vehicle. Share out, share out the candy, guys. Yeah, share them out. Well, y'all gotta tell Uncle. Y'all gotta tell him thank you, guys. Just a quick reminder, guys. We are here at uh, Kuru Kuru for the cricket match. If you just join us, I have my suki. We will prepare here with dehydration tablet. So we are awaiting the captains them to come for the um, flipping of the coins. Some of the players are here already see some of the players here I am hoping to to all that in all fairness of this video that I don't have to do a part two hopefully that we can conclude the game we can see some food we can see some people, we can have some drink in our allotted uh, 30 minutes or so. But if it comes down to that, we have to do a part two, guys. Just for conclusion, we're going to have to do a part two video, guys. Gavin, give me some statistics. How much do you think you're going to make today? How much of wicket do you, you think you're going to take today? Just give me an average thing, man. Tell me, tell me what you think. No? 
cricket. You play cricket. This is what you call the warm up session. The guys are getting the pitch together and they're having a warm up. And of course, the spectators, as, as usual. What are you got in the bag, the boy? Let me see what you all got in this bag. What you got, Auntie? Cook up rice, boy. With the pepper and soda. No pepper and thing to come yet, boy. Somebody got the pepper? All right, guys. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy. You got the pepper? You got to check with any cooler, too. With the cooler? Oh, let them take out them food first, boy. We can check the cooler later. See, these people come well prepared here, right? Food galore. Look at this. Look at food in this, in this vehicle here. This is how Guyanese is going to come on our thing, right? All different kind of food here. Look, drinks, huh? I don't know. We probably can sell back some. <laughs> Apologies once more. I keep saying crew, crew, but we are at Saint Colesport Mission. Apologies, my my sincere apologies, guys. So the two cap things are gathering for the spinning of the coins. Heads and tails. Head is the call. Um, before you before you twenty over. Um, watch watch your head, watch your head. I see that any so it's a 20 over fair guys 20 over fairs so which team won the toss? What's your team name, sir? Cotsport Mission won the toss, and um, well, they'll tell us what they will do. Oh, you're deciding what you're gonna do. Okay, great. And your team is, sir? Everest Master. Everest Masters and Cotsport um, team. They won the toss. They're gonna decide what they're gonna do. You're doing a little pitch, pitch test, guys. The pitch look nice and fast, beautiful. I would like and enjoy to bat on this end of the pitch, not so much the other end. My recommendation on this pitch is to bat first. That's my take of things. Uh, after a lengthy discussion with this team, you decide to bat first. So these guys are batting first. Good decision. Come back in the pitch. I would have choose the same decision to bat first on this pitch. Gavin Singh want to be on camera. He want to showcase his talented body, his physique. Gavin, show them your one pack. <laughs> in with the stats, dehydration tablet needed. It's a 20 over fair. St. Colesworth Mission won the task and they choose the bat. So that is as far as it goes from this end here. We're having one here now, trying a strong one. The boys will have to come here. There you go. They can't get it for sure. There you go, yeah. So here I have one of the skipper. Can you tell me about your team, your team name and your playing 11? All right, Rajay Singh is the name. Uh, the team is Everest Masters. Everest Master. We've been doing this for about 10 to 12 years now. Correct. Touring, playing locally, going to different communities, playing against different touring teams coming together. So what's your take on your playing 11? You think they have it to be the, your opposition today? Um, it's going to be play mainly for fun. Oh, cricket is a, is a game of, of um, when you're having a good day, you don't know who's going to come out on top of it, that's, right? That's true. Um, at the end of the day, both teams like winning. Like winning. Yeah, so and that that's what makes the game more um, more, more interesting, interesting. It's more, it's more competitive. For, for our team, 
Um, if you if you look around, you can see the, the support. The I can see. I can see a lot of yeah, also. yeah. And, and that's what happened when Everest Masters played. Amazing uh, guy. This game was was being played in George and at Everest. You'd have seen the tornado there. The tornado would have been huge. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we're happy for who uh, took the trip up with us here, and we look forward for a good day. So it's a, a it's it's when I mean, you put it in a, in one term, it's a friendly match. Nothing's up for stake here today. It's a friendly. Um, yeah, they, they are they are stuff that's up for stake. Um, bragging Do you want rights. Maybe. Bragging rights. Uh, we had hosted them at Everest. We we beat them there. Um, this is our return leg now. So we'll see how it goes. So they will want to return you guys the same favor that you did to them, right? Yes, I guess they'll be looking. So if I have to throw some money in this game, um, what what you you recommend? Uh, Who do I throw I, it on? I I would leave that up to you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks no, for for thanks. coming here, man. Cheers. So most obviously, I'm going to throw my support behind Everest Master because I'm touring with these guys. So I'm, I'm not being biased in any way. I'm, I'm being, so I'm very competitive also when it comes to a cricket match, and I would like to not be neutral because I want to back a team so I can be passionate about the game. So I'm backing Everest Master. If the other side wins, kudos to them and congratulations to them. Let's see how it unfolds and let's see how it all play out. All right. Again, I'm not being biased. Sam. The reason why I didn't get to interview the other captain, he's a bit shy and he doesn't want to go on record on camera, right guys? So I'm not being biased. So th these are the Everest master hit hitting the field. So they have to feel. This is the plane 11. So this is the two big batsman coming out now. Hey, the man want a hundred or five knots, all right, guys. Just a reminder guys, if you just tune in, we're at um, a cricket game, also on an adventure. Um, these guys are playing for bragging rights. Remember, this is very important. This, they're playing for bragging rights. So the Everest Warrior beat those guys on their turf. So they're back here now as the visiting team and hoping also to beat them here again. So let's see how this unfolds. Bragging rights is at uh, stake here. So this is ball one of the game. Ball one of the game. Of course, I'm not going to uh, video the whole game, so I'm going to give you updates. Hopefully, we get some big sixes hit. I'm going to also try to get it on record for you guys. That's Gavin Singh and Iwan Pak. So as the match continues, it's a family outing and a family affair. The other side is out to bat now. So I'm going to get some statistics on, on the batting side. Previously, how much runs they scored and how much, much runs these guys have to make. I'm going to take some, a quick preview of everybody here. <laughs> Rum okay? You are going to take Rum as a commission? 3%? Yeah. 3%? Yeah. Bas, give me an update on, on the score. How much you first, first side make? 86. 86. Half 20 over. 
All out, 86 all out. Okay, great. So 87 for win. Thank you, sir. So that's it, guys. 87 to win. This is the first ball. <laughs> Everest Master, um, this is coming down to the final part of the game, guys. Five runs from about 18 balls. Everybody's excited about the finish of the game. These guys are having some food behind me here. Some real countryside barbecue chicken. That was our boat. No, no, thanks. I had enough. Thank you. How is that, Tom? Gavin, that wide? That's a wide? <laughs> Pop, that's a wide? It's a family affair, fun day, cricket match, adventure, all combined in one for today. Activity and outing. And a lot of food. Take one. you One for One to tie two to win, right? One to tie two to win. Apologies for not bringing the full games to you guys because um, you know I had to summarize it. I couldn't have put it all together. It would have taken up too much of, of video in and timing. So this is all you get from this end in our adventure, in our um, amazing drive, in our amazing journey, in our amazing everything that we did today. Hey, and that's the game guys that's the game Everest master has won 12 balls one run and they make it not to make 12 balls and make one run no but how much ever kids <laughs> so it's congratulatory going on here right now. The captain is congratulating his player.
the winning team is gonna meet the losing team. Formalities after the finishing of a game, the winner come and uh, reach the loser and they shake hands and move on with another game. So I hope guys our trip and our cricket match was very eventful and entertaining for you guys today. I had a blast, I had a lot to drink, I had a lot to eat, I met a lot of new people and it was all fun at, from this end. Yeah, boy. Full time now, boy. See the cook up there? Hot, hot out to the pot. It's too hot. It's too hot, right? Oh, 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 oh. Cook up for everybody. You see this? This is how oh, they do oh, it oh, up oh. here. Oh, oh. St. Colbert oh, oh. Mission. This Fresh cucumber. See there? This Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Hey, how do you cook up eat? How we eat? How we eat? How do you cook up eat, my boy? Like cook up. Cook up rice? Yeah. St. Colbert Mission. Cook up from George. Tell them there. Tell them, my boy. Tell them, boy. Chef, chef. Parappa cook up, you see that? Eh? See that? Eh? Not selling now at the 500. 500 for cook up. <laughs> Let me hear when the man is going to say, I lie, man. Them chop this around here. Yeah, you agree with them, tongue, man? They cook up it good? Yeah, yeah. You cook up it good, you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Call, yeah, yeah. Cook up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, our adventures finally finish here in a beautiful. Um, St. Colesport Mission. It was a very amazing day. Beautiful people, exciting game of cricket, uh, nature at its best, taking in the trail, the, the wilderness, the outdoor. It was a very epic adventure on this end. So all in all, it, it comes down to this. There's always one winner, one loser. That's how it goes in any, any sport. So it's down to this now that um, we're at the presentation. In my conclusion, I'm here at the presentation. And the ultimatum here was about winning the game and having bragging rights so the Everest master has been uh, crowned the champion and they have the ultimatum of the bragging rights of winning again so we have a quick uh, preview of the presentation and that's it for little guy and about two cool this end all right guys so this is our conclusion of our match Sports mission and the Everest Cricket Club Master. We've had, we saw an exciting game, but you know, in any game, there can only be one winner. And today, Everest Cricket Club, the visited Everest Cricket Club Masters, revealed. So please put your hands together for the, the winning team. Also, please put your hands together. Remember, these guys are masters. So, also, please put your hands together for the most. Excellent cricket guys. Let's go, let me just recap what transpired today. The home team took four strike and they made 86 in 18 overs with Pon Pon Sami, Avinash Pon Sami getting for the three and Keon Katow 19. Ronald Jaising, the medium pacer from the Everest Cricket Club, he took five wickets. Rajiv Singh, the off-spinner, and who's also the captain. If they come to the Man of the match, and I think you will all agree with me. When I say the man of the match today, ladies and gentlemen, is no other than the medium pacer, Ronald Jai Singh. <laughs> the Everest Cricket Club Masters, and I would like to ask the captain Rajesh Singh to receive the trophy from Pravina Daniel.
So that's it from this end, guys. I hope you got a, a, had an um, amazing trip and an amazing journey. Join me for another episode of Little Guyana by Too Cool and Family. What up? Peace out, guys. Cheers, man.